Oh yeah, friends and fam. Welcome back to another episode of Captain Coleslaw Outdoors. It is 7.48 in the morning on a Saturday, mid-April. Today, we're gonna take you out on a hunt. First hunt that this series promises to bring you, and one that a lot of you guys probably have never thought about doing before, but I will say this. If you're a wing shooter like me, I'm a huge diehard waterfowl fan, this is a great hunt to go on to practice some very important entities of waterfowl. The animal, the American crow, baby. So we're going out on a crow hunt. Now, how do you hunt crows? Why do you hunt crows? Crow hunting is actually pretty awesome. Their eyesight is ridiculous. So. We're gonna be hunting some big old pieces of public land where there's a bunch of trees, pines especially, where the crows like to hang out and keep their eyes open for the next meal or the next opportunity. Now crows will eat anything they can you know, shove down their gullet. So they're always watching and they're always being opportunistic. And we're going to exploit that. We're going out to these big game lands where there's some big cleared patches of landscape and we have seven plastic crow decoys ranging from anywhere from five to twenty-five dollars. And we're gonna scatter them all over the field. And then we have a Mantis Pro 100 series game caller. Most of you guys just know that as a predator call. So we're gonna turn that baby out loose in the field amongst the decoys and just make it sound like there's a bunch of squabbling, screaming crows fighting over something to eat. That is worth, if I'm another crow, coming in to check out. And the most important part of the whole thing is the eyesight of a crow is so freaking good. We're gonna need all the cover we can get, but hopefully that's enough for us to be still be able to get you guys some nice shots. Now, why would you hunt crows, Coleslaw? Why? Well. Believe it or not, crows are a nationwide regulated game animal. You can legally hunt crow, and they are considered a legal game species. They're considered small game. They have the largest hunting season of any bird that we have regulations for. You can hunt crows basically nationwide from June 1st all the way to the middle of April. So this is the last opportunity we're going to have to hunt crows, probably until the summer. And to be completely honest with you, it might be the only crow hunt we do for the rest of the year until all the other hunting seasons die down, kind of like right now. The thing about crows is as a legal game animal, you can only hunt them uniquely enough on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday during those some um, 11 and a half months of the year. Great bird to hunt due to their vision, creativeness needed to decoy them. I don't have like a mouth call or anything, like you're not gonna hear me out there. Ow, 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 ow. Unless I'm absolutely desperate. It keeps our shotgun skills crisp, keeps us moving on some moving targets, don't have to pay to go to the range. And if you've ever done crow hunting, it is a blast. It is so fun. The adrenaline gets up. They sneak up on you. They're big. It's going to be a good time. I hope this video really works out so you guys get to experience that. All right, so we're going to get to this first spot, and you're not going to hear from me until we're set up. So I'll catch you guys in a bit.
my god that was cool there were crows everywhere i probably could have shot the one but i wanted you guys to get some continuous footage of how those crows work and how they get anxious and i didn't want to maim a bird and i didn't want to blow it i figured maybe i could get one to swoop in a little bit closer i didn't shoot they never saw me so they didn't spook which is great we are going to cold call these birds a little bit let them sit let them think those birds behind us never came they must still be down Let's see if we can't make something happen here in the next 20 25 minutes we had to have gotten some cool footage though which is awesome we're gonna get a shot off one of these days we're so close i can feel it so we're at a third spot Well, that's something you don't see every day. Just got pulled over by a uh, game warden coming in here to hunt crows. Good guy. Completely legal. Had my plug in the gun. And that is why, if you're hunting public land, you always, always, always make sure that you're prepared. Uh, you never know what you're going to get into. So, I'm hoping we get into some crows back in here. We had two right here at the parking spot. And, you know they're gone but we still have some time we're gonna hunt back in here for about an hour and hopefully we can pull this off Right. We did it. Yes. Wow, that crow got pummeled. I mean, I'm pretty sure it almost hit the camera. It's gonna wait about five minutes and then we're gonna go pick up that crow. Sweet. That's cool. That's cool. Well, there he is. A beautiful black pheasant. Look at that. Pretty bird. Public land crow. He is dead. Well, on that positive note, I mean, we had to work hard to get one, but on public land where crows are extremely educated and wary of people, uh, I think this is where we are going to call it a day. Thanks for attending this hunt. I, uh, really worked hard in order to bring you this bird and we got some pretty good footage too but the thing about public land hunting guys if you're gonna hunt crows on public land you have to know their intelligence we were hidden way in there in that tree line and we had the decoys and we had a call and i mean you guys saw in the footage they were angry when they came in you know you, you gotta really pull on their heartstrings i mean you gotta convince them that there's something good uh, a chance for pecking order to be reestablished, and then you might just be able to shoot a crow. Well, you guys are going to find out if this vlog goes anywhere whatsoever that a successful hunt in my neck of the woods calls for a spicy pepperoni roll and a chocolate milk for my favorite gas station restaurant. In case you were wondering, yes, I wore rubber gloves when I touched the refrigerants and when I touched the counters. So, play it safe, people. Oh my god, it's so freaking good. Oh, guys.
guys, I'm at the computer right now. It's the day after the crow hunt, and I just realized that I'd never filmed an outro. Thanks so much for coming along with me on that hunt. You know, I know we didn't shoot a pile of crows, but we did see a bunch of crows. And considering that was the first hunt that I brought you guys, I was pretty pleased with the amount of decent footage of birds in action that we were able to get. Every time you go out into that wilderness, in order to find success, you have to do everything in your power to try to disappear. And here I am doing something that I have done my entire life. And now I'm trying to do it in a way where I can bring it to you via this footage. And it hasn't been easy. The editing for this video has been burning me as I learn to use Premiere and learn to use it better. Give me a like and maybe even a subscription if you like what you're seeing. If what I'm doing is, you know, not a complete waste of time and that you want to keep seeing where it goes as I get better at what I do. So fellas, until next time, just remember, shoot straight, stay strong, and that's it.